Hi hello everyone welcome to Terra Spatial. In this video tutorial we are going to see how to download weather data sets in uh, CSV as well as raster file format. So let's get started. To access and download the data in search bar just type in NASA power data. So you can see the first result. I will be sharing the link in the description. You can check it out. Now click on this link and let us wait for a few seconds so this is how the interface looks like from where we are going to download the weather data sets such as precipitation temperature humidity wind direction wind speed you can easily zoom in and zoom out and go to the area of interest use the left click to pan in and around the map navigate so use this search bar to find your location simply just we need to type in the location name and you can hit search you can land on to the area of interest so let us uh, see the single point approach so you can see here this is a single point uh, the advantage of single point is that you can uh, download the uh, weather data like precipitation temperature humidity wind direction wind speed and lot more for a single location together so you can see here user community here I am going to select agro climatology right you can see the next option that is temporal level so do we required hourly daily monthly so I am going to click on monthly and annual once I did it next is the location so we are going to choose the location for which we want the weather data so I am going to choose this location location by clicking on over here automatically you can see the lat long has been taken next is the time extent so you can see the availability of this data it is starting from the year 1981 and it is up to the year 2022 so in this example I am going to just choose from the year 2021 to 2022 next is the parameters so the limit of the parameter is 20 so don't be uh, don't go beyond 20 parameters at a time so let us see what and all parameters which we are interested in on is temperature next is you can also choose a uh, earth skin temperature then uh, precipitation some average relative humidity if you come down you can see the wind speed if you want uh, the uh, maximum and minimum wind speed you can choose and select it next is uh, wind direction and some are some of the additional data sets are subsurface soil wetness root zone soil wetness and profile soil moisture so you can just check it out if you are interested in so after choosing our data set just come down here you can see the format so these are the formats which are available so I'm going to prefer CSV and I'm going to hit submit in a few seconds the data will be starting to download as you can see here so now the data has been downloaded let us visualize it this is how this downloaded CSV file will be looking uh, let us arrange it yeah so now you can see that uh, the year and month is mentioned over here and you can find some values for example you can see this this is a PR PREC so what this means you can find it over here precipitation corrected sum in millimeters so this is the rainfall data for the year 2021 from Jan month to December and you can also get the annual value likewise for 2022 this is the precipitation you can check on the monthly precipitation level and annual so likewise you can see RH2M so RH2M is nothing but relative humidity for the year 2021 you can check on this values for 2022 relative humidity next comes T2 T2 is nothing but 
temperature so you can see the temperature monthly temperature and annual average likewise next is the TS earth skin temperature month wise for both the year next comes the WD that is nothing but wind direction so you can see the 2021 wind direction in each month how the wind direction is how it is changing you can find out likewise for 2022 and after that you can see WS that is nothing but wind speed so it is in meter second wind speed so likewise you can download the data sets so the next option is regional here you can download uh, regionally for a larger area you can download it as a raster file so let us see how to do that after selecting regional once again we are going to choose agroclimatology and here you can choose the temporal level whether you need it in daily or monthly or monthly and annual so I am going to choose monthly and annual and we are going to draw a box using this rectangular sketch tool so let me draw a box from here to here you can see here the position has been marked on so we can't go beyond some extent uh, the data won't be processing so stick to this uh, region you can just explore it for me it is coming up to here don't go beyond uh, this uh, box level otherwise the data will not be processed so let me show you how it works so if I choose this much big area what happens you can see here an error has occurred we need to select a shorter region okay so please do keep that in mind so this is the area for which I am looking let us put the time so I need it from 2021 to 2022 so let us make it 2020 okay fine so here in the search parameter previously we have downloaded multiple uh, parameters like wind direction wind speed then temperature in this case we can download each parameter we can't uh, download it together so here I am going to download the precipitation data set one by one you can download precipitation sum average next is file format so I am going to choose if you want you can download it in CSV file uh, I think for a larger region it is better to download it as a net CDF or AC, uh, ASC IA file so I am going to choose net CDF hit submit and after downloading the data let us visualize it in uh, QGIS so we have successfully downloaded a data set let us view it in QGIS so this is the downloader file you can directly drag it and drop it to the QGIS like this you can drop it and you can see here a raster like symbology will be available over here at the top regional monthly 2022 so let us add the data and you can see how the data looks like now here in uh, properties right click properties in the symbology select single pseudo color and after selecting it you can see the time range starting from 2020 01 is the month January 02 is February likewise you can go through and you will be ending up in 2020 13 uh, 13 is nothing but the annual amount of rainfall received in the year 2020 that is uh, given us 13 don't get confused likewise you can see 2021 Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June like this and finally you can see 21's, 2021's annual rainfall annual precipitation so let us uh, add a data from this so I am going to add 2020 January months that is 01 I am going to leave the uh, symbology to default if you want you can click and change it so now let us click apply and ok and you can see the amount of precipitation 
39 is the maximum precipitation and 0 0.01 is the minimum so let me invert the color that is good uh, if you want you can add the base maps google base maps like this you can add it so let me put on the 2020s annual rainfall apply ok and you can see the rainfall that is received in the year 2020 maximum and the minimum likewise you can change it so if you want to add the year 2022 you can do so you can see here uh, these are the area where the rainfall is more you can uh, make it a bit uh, attractive also you can reduce the transparency and after reducing the transparency in the symbology come down so here I am going to choose the bilinear instead of nearest neighbor and let us visualize it you can see how it is the region where the rainfall is more and the rest of the region how it is so likewise you can download the weather so you can also download the other data sets for example if you want to download relative humidity you can choose it and hit the button submit you can download the data same thing so this is the humidity data let me add it to QGIS once again add properties single band and here you can choose the time ramp for example 2022 12th month how the humidity was you can find it let me click apply if you want you can invert the colors apply ok same thing you can uh, do the same thing you can reduce the transparency and make it much more visually appealing so thanks for watching if you have find any difficulty in this you can ask in the comment section uh, please do give us a like and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching bye